What's up, everybody? Welcome to CNET's second annual live torture test from CES 2014. I'm Brian Tong, and here with me is Bill Detweiler, Managing Editor with CNET Partner Tech Republic. Bill, thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here at CES, and I can't wait to start torture testing some of these devices. Now, if you guys haven't seen this before, last year and this year, right, this is the second annual torture test. We like to put these products that we love so dearly, put them through different types of tests that may not be realistic, but also may be very fun. So right here, you'll see a little bit of boiling water. You'll see a little bit of uh, something under this. Can, you, is, can, can anyone figure out what is this? I don't know. It looks like a big glass thing. All right, also we have our 12-foot ladder. We're going to do a little drops. But before that, standing by outside to do yet another test as part of this is Sharon Vagnan. Somewhere in this big expanse of space, the Las Vegas Convention Center parking lot with a CNET bus. All right, hey guys, I am just outside of the Las Vegas Convention Center on the CNET bus, and you know what? We've got two more products we're going to torture today. I've got the Chromebook by Acer and this fancy Nikon Coolpix camera. I'm also joined by Girma and Yari, two of our bus drivers who are going to help me torture the heck out of these products. So stay tuned for what's going to happen. You never know. All right, guys. So later on, again, if you love products, we're not here because we don't love our gadgets. We're not here to disrespect them. But, you know, it's CES. we got to have a little fun, all right? And later on, Jeff Backlar, he's going to show you a torture test with Las Vegas's newest attraction. This is the high roller observation wheel where we can see if an iPhone 5S can withstand 5,000 pounds of force. Mm. That's right. I heard a whoa. I don't know about it's that. It's a whoa. But first, we have, to ha we have a heat test here to show you. We're going to take this. Our, if you guys are familiar with the Samsung Active, this is a waterproof phone, claims to be waterproof. Yep. We have boiling water here. Uh, you know a little bit about this phone, Bill. Tell me, you know, what can this bad boy handle? <laughs> well, the Active is waterproof, or Samsung says it is, up to about a meter for 30 minutes. But 30 they minutes. didn't okay. really say anything about boiling water. So the phone usually has a high temperature range of about 113 degrees. Okay. Well, if you, anybody remembers from their high school science class, the, <laughs> the, um, the, the boiling water here is about 212 degrees. So I'm not sure if this is going to be able to take it. And the phone is about $500. $500, guys. Who wants this? You know what? We can just stop the torture test and just <laughs> give this phone to someone in the audience right now. You want to do that? Wow, you guys. Oh, nobody okay, wants here, to do we're that. gonna play okay. a little game. We're gonna play a little game. Whenever we, we do things, we, we have this thing where we've said like C E yes or C E no. So do you guys think this is going to survive the boiling water torture test? C E yes, no. So they there it think, is. I'm gonna you know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go C E yes. I have faith in Samsung. I believe everything they say. Everything, all right? Well only time will tell. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna put on my special oven mitt. This this just look. A little bit of protection never okay. hurts. All right, here we go. We're going to drop this in. We're going to put the screen up so you guys can uh, see what happens. This is kind of tricky. Should I use these tongs? You know oh, my last name is Tong? Oh, there you go. Tong on Tong. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a go, right? Okay, we're going to get you an inside oh, there it look goes. There. Ooh, it's really bubbling it's now. It's actually bubbling a little more. Can you guys see inside that thing? Uh, the screen is still on. The screen is on. It's okay, Jim. It won't bite. It hasn't died yet. It's still up. Oh. There it goes. Oh, the screen just went off. Oh, no. Now, is the screen off because it's like powered off, or did it actually go off because of the water? <laughs> well, oh, wait a minute. The screen's come back on. He's alive. He's alive there. He's alive. And we have a message. Maybe it's an air message. All right, let's take this out. See what I'm happens. I'm going to give this a shot and see what we got here. Oh, here it comes. Okay, here we go. If you guys can see this message, it says, wait until it has cooled down before using your device. Hey, all right. I think, I think that's an amazing tip from Samsung. This is amazing. But you know what? Guess what, guys? This is a CE. Yeah! yeah. CES. CES. <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to go to another test here. We've tested the elements of heat. What do you think about this bad boy? This is an ice block with an iPad mini. Why would you freeze an iPad? Have any of you frozen your iPad mini before by accident? Yeah, Rob did that. All right, thanks to Ice Creations that hooked this up. I see you, Rob. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is really just test out if this ice covered iPad mini will survive. We'll, we'll turn, we'll even back turn on. on. It's been frozen for 
I don't know, probably a couple days. It's thick ice. It's probably around uh, four to eight inches deep in that ice. That's really what do you cold. guys what do you guys think? Are we gonna get a CE yes or a CE no? CE no. CE no. I hear, so can you tell us about freezing? A product here, like yeah. you know, what, what, are, what are these things really able to take, Bill? Well, usually down to about 32 degrees Fahrenheit is what most manufacturers say. Maybe a little bit less than that. And anybody who's in the U.S. right now and are experiencing the really cold temperatures that we're having right now, so if you leave your phone in a car and it gets down to about zero, that's not really good for the phone. So oh, really? this is a little colder than that. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not really good. Sometimes with these frozen devices, they will come back on if you allow them to warm up naturally. Um, sometimes they won't. Uh, liquid crystal displays will actually freeze the CLFC lights, uh, depending on what type of device it is that light up the displays, they can freeze. They can, come, they can come back to life if you allow them to warm up. Just don't use a heat gun, don't use a hair dryer, don't use anything like that, because then you'll just wind up burning the device. No, yeah, like, you know, when even when products get wet, they say don't use a, don't use a blow dryer, just put it in a bag of rice. Yep. I yep, have a lot absolutely. of rice in my home, if you, you know, you know why, right? I like rice. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is the iPad mini. We're going to plug it in. The uh, the Samsung Active is still kind of warm. It still says that you should let it's it It's like cool a heat down. pad. I'm going to put it in my pants. It's cold here. All right, here we go. Let's plug in this iPad mini. You guys at home are going to be able to see if it powers on by looking at the screen. Okay? Let's see. Let's give this a shot. Oh. There we go. Oh, there we come. Look at that. Ice. Ice baby. Guys, CES or CE no? <laughs> you know what? It is my producer like it's not quite on. It turned on. Let's see. There Let's we go. go. There's the Apple logo. Yes, this is powering up. It's, it's getting ready to boot it's up. It's an iPad mini, it's not an iPad red, it's a little slow, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see here. Let's keep Let's <laughs> There it goes. Come on. Up oh, hello. hello, there we go. Hola. Alright, there it you guys. Survived. See, I even guessed the right next one was Hola. I have to Excellent. hang out with these devices too much. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more with this later, guys. All right, next up, Sharon Vagnin. We told you she's outside the convention center with the bus. Sharon, tell us what you're gonna do. Have a little fun out there. All right, guys, it's time to do our first torture test with a Nikon Coolpix camera. And to help me out is Girma. Girma is usually a bus driver, but today he's a tourist in Vegas. Actually, Girma, how long have you lived in Las Vegas? About well, 10 years. 10 years. So what do you do around here? Like to party? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Time, he's yeah. a conservative partier. Okay. Yeah. What about a camera? What kind of camera do you have? Uh, I have a, a Sony. Okay. Yeah. You like to take photos? I like to take photos. Yeah. Scenery. Yeah. Lots of bright lights in yeah, Vegas. Bright lights in Vegas. Beautiful Vegas. Okay. Yeah. So Girma is an experienced photographer, let's say, and he's out on vacation on his bus taking photos outside of the window. You know what? He's just going to risk it. He's going to hang outside of the window while he's taking photos because the scenery is just so beautiful. And you know what? He's living on the edge. He's living on the Oh, my God. <laughs> OK. OK, well, one thing's for sure. Um, we don't have uh, batteries in here anymore. And I don't know. Wow. Oh, my gosh, you guys, look at this. First, I want you to remark and see how there are really no not much physical damage here. The camera is pretty much intact. You know what, let's see what would happen if I collected these poor lost batteries and uh, put them in here, okay? This is like a little, a little tricky right now. Where the heck is, okay. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if it would turn on. I don't even know if I put them in the right way. You know what, I totally didn't. Okay, did I? No, wait for it. Wait for it. I got to see because you know what? We took photos on this camera. Come on now. Oh, is this broken? I think we, I th oh good. Okay, we took photos on this camera and let's see, plus, guys help me out here, minus, plus. I think it's been a long time since I put batteries in a camera. Okay, so that still works. Oh, the camera's not turning on. You guys watched me put it in, right? Oh man, okay, this camera, you know, I bet with a little bit of re rewiring, it might work, but for now, we totally killed it. It'd look nice in a museum though, don't you think? Maybe on the shelf? Okay, 
Stay tuned because when we come back, we are crushing that Chromebook with seven tons of bus. And then stay tuned for Jeff Bacalar's high roller torture test. Stay tuned. Data plan and unlimited talk and text for as low as $45 a month? $45 a month. Wow. No annual contract? No annual contract. No long-term agreement? No long-term agreement. Really? Really. Okay, so what's the catch? There is no catch. Okay. I'm obviously getting nowhere with you. I'm gonna need to speak with a supervisor. I am the supervisor. Oh. Finally, someone I can talk to. It's not complicated. New smartphone plans starting at $45 a month with no annual contract. Only from AT&T. Fastest, the biggest, and the brightest gadgets in town. Barbie has quite the high tech dress on. It's big, it's boxy, it's made of shipping containers. Nobody outside Google really knows what it is. So, how do you be smart about Black Friday? You plan ahead. Don't assume that what you see in the circular is a good deal. Welcome to CNET's The Fix. The show about DIY tech and how to. My absolute favorite bit of this car, gotta be the noise. This is going to change your life. That's right. Talking to you. Okay, so our camera isn't turning on, but you know what? We still have lots more to torture. In fact, we have a brand new Acer Chromebook, and the torture is only getting more severe because you know what, guys? You never know when you're going to leave your brand new Chromebook that, by the way, still has stickers on it, underneath a seven ton bus. Oh, did I put it backwards? And you know what, did I mention, I'm not taking any prisoners today, okay? So we're gonna put this guy right behind it, a nice little row of gadgets that'll have a nice little time underneath the pressure of seven tons of CNET bus. Okay, oh gosh, I wish you guys good luck. It was nice knowing you. I love you. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, do I smell something? Oh my gosh, okay. There is a lot going on here, guys. I, could, I don't know if we can even call that a camera anymore. This Chromebook is just a pancake. There is a lot to pick up here. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna gather all of this, bring it in hand to the CNET stage so we can take a really close look at the damage. I'll meet you guys there. This is nuts. That, that hurt. That's bad. That, that, that I don't hurt. think that one's going back together. Yeah, I, I mean, I leave my laptop under a car all the time. All right, now it's time for our big test. Jeff Bacalar visited the high roller, which is the largest, or which will be the largest observation wheel in the world when it opens sometime in March. That's 110 feet taller than the London Eye. And we did a pretty amazing and crazy test. Like, I don't know the results of it, but let's check it out, see what he did. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Bacalar here at the high roller observation wheel at the link. We're gonna see if this poor innocent Never did anything wrong to no one. iPhone 5S can withstand the force of this monstrosity behind me. It's the biggest observation wheel in the world. The high roller observation wheel is right behind us right here. To explain a little bit more about the high roller, Mr. Eric Eberhard is here. He's the general manager. Eric, this is uh, quite the impressive uh, observation wheel. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we're very pleased and proud of it. It's 550 feet tall. It's the largest observation wheel in the world, as right. you said. 
We have 28 cabins. Each cabin has the capability of having 40 guests on board at a single time. And these little pods are pretty big. They yeah. weigh about 44,000 pounds and actually have eight tons of air conditioning on. So uh, how long does it take for the entire wheel to go around one revolution? It's a 30 minute circle. Wow. So uh, it moves uh, just under one foot per second. Okay. And we're really looking forward to having all the guests join us. Right on. So uh, this is opening in March, correct? Late March. Okay, so tell us exactly how we're gonna to torture test this iPhone 5S. We're gonna tape this iPhone to the drive rail and then drive it under one of the traction motors that actually propels the wheel around. So, yeah. so that's the sort of gutter that the wheels pass through to make Correct. this whole thing and, turn around. And these tires are held down with about 5,000 pounds of force. iPhone 5S, it's pretty delicate. Yep. My money's on it'll be fine. My money is on my 5,000 pounds of pressure on the tire. You're, you know, you, you'd be surprised what Foxconn can put together, okay? <laughs> I believe you. All right, we're going to go check this out, and uh, I kind of feel bad for this phone already. Let's see what happens. Here's the handoff, Eric. Bye. Sorry. Thank you. Time is now. Let's hit it, boys. Okay, here it comes. Got a good feeling. Gonna be okay. I think it's all right. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, we're gonna bring this back to the stage. All right, back to you guys on the CNET stage. All right, so we have the box. This iPhone 5. Do you guys think this thing survived or what? No. What does everybody think? Nods. Let's, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's open it up. This is the magic box. I heard cracking. It sounded bad. I can hear, I can hear things in here. Do, 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 do. I see tape, and wow, I see iPhone 5S. Look at that. Did look the, at that. What do you think of screen? Look, look at, that. at that. The only thing that you can see here, guys, is if you turn the screen off and on here, there's a few, there's a couple artifacts right there. You guys saw that? That's about it. Wow. So um, I'm going to hold on to this. And Sharon is <laughs> back with our right. Chromebook and our camera. All right, so Sharon, you're outside there, right? I mean... We saw what happened, so let's just tell us okay. you know, what, what we got inside this box and hold it well, up. You Ouch. Got, you got a broken heart because that was really hard to watch. So this is what's left of our camera. I, I think I smelled something burning. Um, yeah, in this, fact, this, is this stuff too. Do you guys hear that? This stuff too. Something's making a crazy noise right now. This is my camera. So, so this is what's left. <laughs> my poor camera. Here, hold on. You hold can, on, you hold can on. have guys, it guys, if you guys, want. guys, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That works. Okay, and then this is kind of warm. I'm a little afraid. But this is what's left of our Chromebook, okay? We put it backwards so the wheels rolled this way, if you remember, and there was a huge cracking sound. Um, so, oh, my. The screen, though, I want you guys to see this. The, the screen? screen is still on. I don't, know, I don't know if it would work. You guys want to give it a try? Sure. Let's it's see what happens. Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah. The, cam the camera okay. just got Oh, wrecked. no. The mouse totally works. It still works. It's still connected. If anyone wants a Chromebook, you have the fanciest one in town. Slightly damaged. Slightly damaged. Slightly damaged. <laughs> so the Chromebook survived. Remember, guys, that bus was seven tons. Seven tons. But uh, that camera. It's definitely not going back together. I don't. I don't think so. But the what are you lens, talking about? But is, the lens. It's definitely not. <laughs> but the lens. Look. I, I honestly, my number one bet was that. This would just be glass shards, completely gone. The lens is totally intact, okay? Totally intact. I love this thing. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to save there this. There you go. There's your camera. That's your new necklace. All right, guys. So um, we have our ladder still, right? We have our 12-foot ladder. We still have a few products that are, you know, semi-working semi and everything. So 
Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys want us to drop a few more things? Do you want to try? Do Come you want to try on, and drop this bad boy? This is heavy. Drop I've been block working of out all week just so I could pick this thing up. We're gonna we're gonna try and drop that with now the iPad actually sure. turned on when you're out when you're out there. What? Yeah, the iPad. So we froze it and we turned it on, but uh, we're gonna make an attempt here. That's right? incredible. Let's go you down know, the stage. We could we could pick we could pick this ice out, or we could drop it. I'm gonna let's drop it. Let's drop it. it. Come okay. on, let's go. This requires a little mojo. Let's see if I can do this, guys, okay? Oh my, okay. Let me put on my gloves. Can you get that? Yeah. I told you, I work out, man. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Hold on, my butt. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. There we go. Watch your face. Uh, this this is, is an iPad mini frozen in a block of iPad ice. Mini. Oh, thanks for holding the, the ladder so I don't fall off. OK. There he goes. I'll be careful, oh, there Mom. There with the charger. Well, it's 500 pounds, not 500 bucks. Ugh. <laughs> All the way at the top, Higher? it's like climbing Mount Everest. Come on, what do you guys think? Let's go. <laughs> oh. Let's go, all oh, the anticipation is that's killing the, me, come on. That's what those squats were, okay. All right guys, okay, back up a little bit here. We don't want anybody to get hurt if we drop this. Aim I don't for the want target to drop there, aim for the logo. Oh. Hold on. It's slippery, oh. here we go. There we go. Dude, I just like, Tore my abs. <laughs> yeah. Here we All go, right, guys. We gonna do a up. I'm be Come on, let's do a countdown here. <laughs> oh my! I Three. Literally, I literally come tore on, my two, two, One. Come on, let's drop, drop it. it. Here we go. Here we go. Two, one. Money. Here it goes. <laughs> block is in pieces. Let's see if the iPad still works. Come on. The, the iPad's got to work, dude. Come on. It's got to work. Well. No, no. As if... Nothing, nothing. It's dead. Is it really dead? Let's see. Let's see. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. What do you guys think? Hello. I mean, it wasn't going to drop in light. Let's just drop it again here. Throw it up here. <laughs> Another one? All right, yeah, here yeah, we go. Come on. Woo. Let's keep going. One hand. Again, another skill that you great, don't learn. Great, great, great catch. I keep on hearing the words, be careful, in my ear. Uh, All right, here we go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Flat or corner? Flat or on the corner. What do you guys think? Countdown. All right, let's go. Three. Right, here we go. Give me a count, everybody. Three, two, two one. one. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> We still didn't break it. Again? All right, one more. We no. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, bad throw. Oh, oh. that's how you do it. That might have done it. Oh, that did it. That's a torture test right there. Did it's it crack cracked. It up? Okay, well, the digitizer's guys. cracked, but the screen still works. Slightly used iPad? Mini, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so oh, here we go. All right, guys, so there you have it. Bill, thanks for coming out. Sharon, thanks for being a part of this torture test. Again, this is not very scientific, but we're just having some fun with this. We'll be back here, you know, next year, maybe yeah. a little more, some, some. We might see us here, but we just want to thank everyone here and the CNET stage and the crew for putting this all together. We'll be back live with the 404 and Jeff Bacalar with special guest, Pebble co-founder, Eric Mijikovsky. 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 I, the prompter cut it off. I couldn't see it. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned. And guys, again, don't try this at home. We'll see you guys next year. And again, all our continuing coverage. Check it out at ces.cnet.com. We'll be here for the rest of the show. We'll see you guys.